Yeah, yeah, just underneath. He's cocking his head. He's trying to come up to take a breath, but I'm not letting him so that he can comes out in one shot. One thing I would like to highlight about the snake rescues over here is uh, it's it's pretty saddening to uh, see that we don't get the normal snake or you know the snakes that we used to have before such as green keelbacks and then olive keelbacks, uh, banded racers. These are the snakes which have almost vanished. If I find one in a year, that would be great. Uh, for the past six years, I haven't seen a single olive keelback. For the past eight years, I haven't seen a green keelback. Bangalore right now has 33 snake species that we know of and um, out of those 33 only four of them are dangerous or venomous to humans um, that's the spectral cobra the Russell's viper the common crate and the uh, saw scale viper and out of those four um, only two are really found around um, human habitations the spectral cobra and the Russell's viper what we've been noticing in recent times is that the Non-venomous snakes, and especially the ones that have very specific habitat or diet requirements, have declined a lot in the city as uh, urbanization and um, uh, construction and development has happened. What do we mean when we say urbanization? We mean that the habitat has changed and um, we have people living in really close quarters in a very small and dense kind of area. A lot of the things that come along with people living in close quarters is increased amount of garbage um, that, you know, in Bangalore, I mean, you can see heaps of garbage on the sides of the road in a lot of places. And Obviously, this encourages um, pests like rodents to come in and feed on that. And obviously, the snakes come in looking for the rodents that they feed on. And the, one of the ways that we can actually uh, reduce the uh, number of snake encounters around our own surroundings is to uh, keep our garbage properly in bins and dispose of it in a responsible way rather than um, just having it out in the open. Although the, the latest comprehensive development plan of Bangalore is, is, in a step, is a step in the right direction, I believe there's more to be done to make our cities more urban wildlife friendly. We need to take our green spaces and buffers which are outside the city and inside the city more seriously. We need to intentionally plan them and not just leave the fringes or the leftover areas to function as green buffers. We could learn from Scandinavian countries which are experimenting with these wildlife corridors uh, which enable urban wildlife to move uh, from location to location, from their one habitat to another. We need to reduce, we need to better our policies to reduce encroachment into uh, wildlife habitats that already exist in the city. 